Hey guys, so I am doing a review of the curriculums that we used last year uh, for our kindergarten year. And um, up next, we are going to be looking at what we used for our nature study. Um, we used Exploring Nature with Children. Um, this is put on by Raising Little Shoots. Um, and I love this curriculum. Um, nature study is kind of like the thing that just gets me so excited. Um, as a little girl, I was the one who was always barefoot out running in the woods, turning over logs, seeing what bugs I can find, and just climbing any tree that was out there. Um, so nature is near and dear to my heart, but it's one of those things that I have a lot of experience with it, but not a lot of knowledge of it. So this curriculum has been fantastic for even me um, because it's helped me to learn so much about things that I was already familiar with seeing, but I just didn't um, had the knowledge about it, the names and um, the information. So um, I loved this. Um, so Exploring Nature with Children, what they do is they go through week by week um, throughout the entire calendar year and gives you a topic to study. Um, so for instance, this week um, is Butterfly Week. And uh, so everyone who's using this curriculum is studying butterflies this week. Um, so uh, for instance, is, I mean, I've seen a lot of butterflies out there um, but this curriculum helped me to dig a little bit deeper and just learn something that I never knew before. Um, we went to a butterfly garden, um, this was actually a couple weeks ago, but we got to see a blue morpho butterfly, which if you haven't seen those, um, they're just gorgeous. I mean, they're probably this big around and just a brilliant blue. So this week I started looking up some facts about it just for my own sake. Um, and. I, the butterfly is not blue. They actually have clear scales on them that cause uh, the light to reflect an iridescent um, color and it looks blue to the eye even though it is actually clear. So I just find that so fascinating and that is something that I would not have known had it not been for this curriculum um, giving me just the little push um, to look a little bit closer into it. So um, that's just a little bit, uh, I guess, about what I love about this curriculum is that it just kind of gives you a jumping point. You can jump around in this if you want to. You do not have to go week by week. Some weeks um, did not line up with our season. So I'm here in Michigan and we had a really long winter and a very wet spring so far. And uh, so one week they were studying worms and we still had snow on the ground. So we weren't gonna be out digging up worms and looking at them. Uh, we looked at a couple pictures or whatever, but we never really got to dive into that. Um, but there are things that we did get to learn, um, like about lichen and the symbiotic relationship. And um, you know, we have done a lot of study on trees and seed dispersals and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so this is a curriculum that kind of grows with your children. You can go through it an entire year and then the next year you go through it again and you just learn something new and you continue to touch on all of these beautiful topics and it's just, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna um, have you look a little bit more closely at this. <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump into, let's see here. Okay, so here um, I'm just gonna show you September, actually, let's go to this one. Okay. So I'm gonna show you September week one, because this is what we started with when we jumped into this curriculum. Um, and it's talking about seeds. So as you can see, the pages are very plain. There's nothing super exciting about this curriculum when you open it up, but the wealth of information inside is fantastic. Um, so it talks about what you can do on your nature walk, um, and it says to go to a regular nature spot, something that you, your kids can see the changes that are happening. Ours just happens to be our yard. Um, but what I love about the curriculum is that it gives you talking points. So you don't have to read any of this to your children, but read it to yourself. And uh, for instance, so it's talking about seeds and seed dispersal. So it, tell, it tells you as the parent how seeds are dispersed by the plant itself, by animals, by water, by wind. Um, and it tells you how that happens. So you as the teacher, you now go outside with your children, you're walking around, you're collecting seeds and you're looking at them, you're like, hey, does the wind carry this and you throw it in the air and it floats? Or hmm, does it stick to my clothes or my skin? Or I mean, you find some water, you drop it in, does it float, does it sink? Um, so this curriculum is meant to give you as the teacher your talking points. It also recommends having this handbook of nature study, which is a monstrous book. Y'all, this is not something that you're gonna be reading to your kids. Um, if you open it up, 
it's just a bunch of black and white, lots of words. Um, for young kids, this is going to be something not very interesting to them. Um, I did read a few excerpts from it to my children. Um, and we even used, actually this is one that we used a lot. Um, when we were studying mini beasts, we looked at um, the anatomy of a grasshopper here. We just kind of used this little diagram and talked about it. But this book is meant for you as the teacher. Uh, for instance, um, it's, when it's talking about trees in one of the studies in here, which, by the way, um, the curriculum does tell you which page to read in the Handbook of Nature Study so that you can familiarize yourself with where everything is at in the book. Um, you're not having to dig through it. It tells you where to go and look for it. Um, so you read up in this um, and the tree study um, that I was just talking about. So when you're flipping through this book, it actually gives you a lot of great ideas. It tells you to go out and find a tree and to claim it as your own, give it a name and really just observe it and then watch that tree for an entire season, see how it changes. So we went out and we each picked a tree. So my kids named a tree Oki Oki and Maple Maple. Those were the trees that they decided to choose. But they still talk about their their trees. Um, they've taken possession of them and it's really cool just to watch them, watch the trees change. And that was an idea that I actually got from the Handbook of Nature Study. Um, another thing that it talks about is how to estimate how tall a tree is, um, bark rubbings, that kind of stuff. Um, so th a lot of that is suggested in this curriculum. It's kind of broken down into smaller um, chunks. If you're wanting a little bit more of an in-depth study, this gives you even more talking points with your kids. So this is for you as the teacher. You read through it and as you're outside exploring, you now have the knowledge to talk to your kids about what you are seeing. Um, something else that um, is included in this are book lists. So it actually gives you the ISBN for the book as well. Um, but this one like recommends A Seed is Sleepy, Tiny Seeds by Ruth Brown, From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. So it, it gives you your um, book lists. And then it gives you a poem to enjoy, which this is something that we read um, most units. Um, so there's a poem here. Um, this one's Autumn by uh, Emily Dickinson. And then it also gives you a piece of art to enjoy. Um, so because we were already doing an art study um, through our language arts curriculum, we never really focused on this much. But I think that this is a really neat um, component to this curriculum is that it then takes it into a picture study as well. So um, just kind of an overview once more. This curriculum is more is more for you as the teacher to give you a jumping board, a springboard um, of what to study with your children. Because it's so easy just to go outside and just to wander and be lost. But if you go outside and you have a topic, um, like this week was butterflies, next week is mini beasts, which are all bugs. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna look for bugs next week. Um, it just kind of gives you a place to start, something specific to look for, and it gives you the resources to make yourself knowledgeable so that when you're outside with your kids, you can then talk to them and maybe um, give some of your love for nature to them. So I hope that was helpful for you.